Aloha, welcome back loves. So in this video I'm going to show you the two hotels that we stayed at during our trip to Ghana. So the first one was Thistle Heathrow T5 and this was in London, UK. And the second one is Air Force West Hotel in Accra, Ghana. Initially we were going to stay in Air Force View, however a little bit of something something happened there so I'll explain that situation as the video goes on. Take a look at these clips and there's a little walkthrough as well of one of the streets in Ghana. So enjoy the video and I'll see you in my next one. Mwah. Bye! This is the hotel that we're staying at. This is called Thistle. London Heathrow T5. And this is the reception. It looks like an American motel. It's very basic on the outside. Yet the inside, the interior looks very modern. There's a Premier Inn across the road there. But this place looks really nice. It's gorgeous in here. Last of the bags. The hotel was absolutely beautiful. Like I said, the inside was very elegant and chic. This is the dining room. Everything was neatly laid out. This is moi. <laughs> Dancing along to copyrighted music. The bar was lovely. All the bar attendants were incredible and this is just a sample menu i can't guarantee that it will be the same when you go there but this is what was there when i was there just going to be doing a spot of editing i bought the goose ipa it's very clean very fresh really light so that's my setup and there are so many vehicles going by. There were a few planes earlier on as well, so it's a gorgeous view. So I have migrated to the lounge, relaxing. It was so loud upstairs because I needed somewhere quiet to edit. So I've migrated downstairs and I've got my goose. Cheers, goose IPA. It's very crisp, like I said. Goose Island. Lush. So let me edit this video and then go down. Well, I'm already downstairs, but go around the corner and have a really good night's rest for tomorrow on our journey to Accra. Accra, ah, ah, Accra, a, a, the rooms were also pretty standard, there was nothing too extravagant about them. I loved, loved, loved the lights on the walls, they were beautiful. The sheets were neat, you know, the bed was soft, the pillow, which I'm going to show you, was also super soft. And all in all, it was a very nice, neat, compact room. This was the standard twin room. The TV worked, the AC worked, the heating worked, everything was super. And they gave us some drinks. This is the emergency plan. This is the view. And this is the bathroom. So the bathroom was also very neat. They gave us everything that we needed really. So there's nothing much to complain about. One thing was that the blue was right behind the door which was a bit awkward but you know we made it work we were there for one night so and this is more and this is the next morning breakfast time so we're just perched here and this is the view for breakfast woohoo beautiful you can see the planes there in the background so super. Kacha! We've got some coffees here. 
Unfortunately, the machine is out of order. I think they're doing a massive cleanup. Oh, these are my nails, by the way. This is what I did. Your girl did this. <laughs> then we've got all the teas as well. Then we've got the coffee and the hot water. Coffee here. I'm just gonna pop this in. It looks really strong, but we move. Let's see. Oh, that's not bad at all. Super. Gotcha. I'm just putting the coffee down. I'm going to make myself a tea. There we are. I'd rather have the tea. Got chamomile, red berry. Oh, I'd actually use the chamomile. Lovely. It's so lovely to be able to actually sit in a hotel and not be serving. It's weird, it's strange, but it's nice. It's nice to treat myself. Oh, look. So this is their setup. They've got the taste. And then they've got a full English breakfast. So like grilled tomatoes and mushrooms. Baked beans. They've got the rusty, which is basically a hash brown. We've got some sausages, pork and leek. Ooh, that sounds good. Got some back bacon, some fried eggs, and some hot plates. Then they've got some sultanas, dried apricots. We've got all the cereals as well. They look really good. And the juices and water it's lovely and then they've got some fruits as well the continental selection it's not bad it's not bad at all and there's also a selection of pastries lovely It's gorgeous for you guys. It's just sublime. Lovely, and the weather is absolutely perfect today. So perfect. Here we are. So now we're making our way to Heathrow Airport. We managed to pack everything into the cab and just say goodbye to Thistle and London. The cab was really rocky. Look at all the bags. No! <laughs> well, the journey was nice and peaceful. Very expensive. They charged us £25. This is a view of the crowd. We're landing. And we're in Ghana. So at the airport, we didn't actually have anyone come to pick us up. The one, the person who was picking us up now, we had to call him and luckily he was on his way. So he took us to Airport View Hotel, but due to maintenance issues, we couldn't stay there. So they quickly arranged for us to go to Airport West Hotel, which we arrived at at five minutes to midnight. But the hotel was absolutely beautiful compared to Airport View and it was just so elegant and culturally appropriate and all of those things. I had everything there. The facilities were very neat and I loved the tile work. It wasn't too much. The colours matched. That's one thing I hate about Ghanaian tiles, they just don't match. The rooms were beautifully decorated. Look at the Kinte style bedding everything was so neat the rug was a little bit you know hmm, old it looked like it needed a wash but i'm sure they washed it it was just old it would have been nice to have a fluffier rug but they provided us with coffee water ample wardrobe space couldn't really ask for more this is the next morning this is the view from the hotel room Ghana, Ghana, it was so humid, 
because it just rained. So I loved every part of it. My energy is overwhelming the radio. <laughs> Power. 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 <laughs> Before I went down for breakfast, I decided to go down for a walk, as you guys know. So I did a little tour of the hotel before I left the building. This was the breakfast room, neatly laid out, beautiful. This was the extras menu, so you had the buffet and you had the extras. So this is the continental part, so you have your tea, your cereals, you have your fresh fruits. This morning we had pineapple, pawpaw, mango and watermelon, watermelon, <laughs> and then apple juice and the other juice was like a strawberry juice, it was really strange but delicious. And of course the hot food. See there's jollof fries, breakfast. You see, this is how Ghanaians do it. This is how we get it done. This is how we get it done. This salad, this omelette. It's like cabbage and oh lord. This is how we get it done. This is how we get it done. Sausages and beans. take this time to go for a walk to enjoy life to see what's around this side and we're gonna come back for breakfast and then we're going to live our best lives yes darlings honeys get in line let's go and live our best lives <laughs> so I'm just going for a little walk I've got the hotel behind me there just going for a little walk around the area just to see what's here. Oh, it's very nice. There's not too much going on. It's very lovely. I mean, if you can see the road behind me. The weather is humid. It's humid. You can feel the heat on your skin, but it's not too hot. Like, this is comfortable for me. I'm very happy here. Very, very happy. And the Villaggio apartment is just there. Uh, you can see one of the backgrounds. On that side there. <laughs> it's not a bad area, actually. It's very, very quiet. Not too many cars around. It looks to be in the middle of a car, but still, it's very quiet, which is incredible. I'm doing that thing again when I walk through somewhere that I've never been before and I just greet people on the road and I don't know if it's not the culture here anymore but I just greeted someone and they looked at me like oh but yesterday it was all Mr. Morning <laughs> you just never know you know you can greet someone and I think that kind of aura that I give out, people just like, wait, why is she talking to me? Does she need something from me? And also, she was actually selling bread, so I think she might have thought that I wanted to buy some. I was just being friendly. I'm going to have to get used to the level of friendliness here and how they do things here because, you know, it takes a while to get used to the place. I can see and feel myself sweating as well already. It's not uncomfortable because I don't actually mind sweat uncomfortable so my body's trying to cool down but now I need to know that I will have like you know a hanky which I have many of I've packed many hankies so I'll have hankies and I'll also carry my water with me I have my small bag which you can see on like feeding on me but I love it I feel so comfortable it's hot humid sweating but I don't mind it at all. I honestly 
and also at Pete's. I love the Pete's. I love it. I oh, they feel so good, honestly. But I definitely do need something to keep me cool, and I need to get it. Also guys, if you have any video ideas, if you have anything you want to see in Ghana whilst I'm here, let me know in the comments below and I will find time to make those videos for you. I live in the western region of Ghana, so it's not the typical Accra lifestyle that you see on YouTube. So if you've got any interesting little things you want to know, let me know and I'll do my best to get it to you. Bye! Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Ha <laughs>